So, welcome to my channel Yatri Mere Saathi. This is Vishwanath and we are going for a three day industrial tour uh, to Vishakhapatnam and Arapu. So, we have started from Hyderabad and uh, at 1.30, this is 4 o'clock, we are at Surya Pet now. So, from here we will continue the journey. Thank you. Uh, welcome to my channel Yatri Mere Saathi. Today let me take you to a wonderful and memorable trip of my life that is a three day industrial tour to Vishakhapatnam and Araku Valley. So we started in Hyderabad at near about 1.30 uh, in the afternoon and halted at Surya Pet. Uh, the journey was filled with you know fun, entertainment and lots of music, DJ, dance and students were really excited. As after Covid, no colleges have been taking anybody to tours and this is uh, you know like, like a, a revolution I must say taking all these students uh, to a tour. So on the way we really crossed through you know the serene atmosphere and the nature experiencing the natural beauty seeing lots of viewpoints and it was really filled with fun students were dancing singing and there was music in the bus so the trip was really going on very good uh, it was getting dark slowly and we switched on the dj and the laser lights in the bus and it was it really looked like a, you know, party going on. Uh, soon we reached Vijayawada by 7.30 and uh, by seeing Prakasham Barrage, we were, uh, you know, filled with joy in the lights. Uh, with the lights you know it looked so beautiful so beautiful the krishna river flowing down the prakasham barrage was looking so great so we quickly uh, changed our plan and uh, thought to visit uh, sri kanakadurga temple thanks to one of our students akshit who were in darshan for 35 of us in no seconds and we had wonderful darshan though it was a little crowdy because it was friday and we immediately started back after the darshan to Vishakhapatnam by 9. Next day by 7.30 we reached Vishakhapatnam and in the heart of city we took a lodge which is Royal Paradise, one of the wonderful stays. I you know prefer everybody should uh, stay here if it is a one day or a two day trip. We quickly had a breakfast which was arranged by the hotel Royal Paradise. Uh, idli, dosha, vada and uh, puri each for uh, everybody. It was quite good and uh, after uh, having a breakfast, we immediately started back to one of the best beaches of Indian Peninsula, I must say, one of the secret beaches of Vishakhapatnam, which is Yarada Beach. Uh, at a distance of uh, 40 kilometers from uh, the heart city of uh, Vishakhapatnam, Yarada Beach is covered by Dolphin Hills which protect Vishakhapatnam uh, from the strong currents of Bay of Bengal. So we got down and uh, really it was exciting to see this beach. I have visited several beaches earlier but this was uh, really heartwarming to be here. Uh, thanks to RK sir who told us about this place and arranged everything for us. By the way, Mr. R.K. Ramakrishna Reddy is one of our uh, sweetest colleagues and uh, you know faculty of the college. Hi bros, we came to Vizag Beach. You know, immediately once we saw the beach, we quickly jumped into the water and uh, I, I don't want to say anything about this. Just see and enjoy how we enjoyed. Uh, one of the most uncrowded uh, beaches that I have visited till now in my life is Yarada and we quickly completed everything by 1 o'clock, started back to uh, Vishakhapatnam. The Ghat roads were really beautiful, offering us viewpoints. We reached the hotel again, had our uh, lunch there, uh, got fresh for a while and started to Kailashagiri, the hill viewpoint in Vishakhapatnam, which is on a hill. Uh, you know, which gives us beautiful uh, scenic view of uh, RK Beach and then we visited 
aircraft museum nearby and after that we halted at a submarine museum this is a submarine museum in Vishakhapatnam this is RK beach on one side and aircraft uh, museum on one side and you have uh, Kailasigiri hill over there so uh, after everything was over we started back to the uh, lodge that is a royal paradise meanwhile we have seen the beautiful city got up early the next day and uh, started to Araku Valley via Vizag railway station in Vishakhapatnam Kirandal Express to Bora Caves and I must say that one of the most beautiful journeys in my life uh, that I have ever experienced Kirandal Express offers a beautiful view of Araku Valley uh, which reaches Odia actually and uh, meanwhile we have seen several uh, bridges you know the best thing is the tunnels that we came across near about 40 tunnels uh, when the train was passing the students and you know the travelers were uh, shouting and in no time by 10.30 we reached the Bora Caves uh, railway station we got down uh, the bus was coming behind our bus which we you know came from Hyderabad and as soon as we got down at Bora Caves we, uh, quickly came out, uh, you know, and uh, started uh, to Bora Caves. Bora Caves is uh, one of the oldest caves of, uh, you know, world, I must say, 150 millions before. Uh, and uh, there, after seeing that, I also tried a zip line for the first time in my uh, life, uh, you know, which was quite uh, thrilling to me. And uh, then, after that, we had our lunch and we started to Katigi Waterfalls via uh, uh, Jeep which charges 200 rupees to and fro for one and a half hour. A little trucking also is there uh, to reach uh, Katagi waterfalls and it was really very uh, beautiful. The water was uh, too cold, too cold, I must say near about 6 to 10 degrees. Uh, we were shivering but still we were experiencing the thrill also. Uh, nearby uh, places, uh, students really enjoyed in the waterfalls. I also explored some secret places there. I went alone, you know, and it was quite beautiful. I must say that you should uh, really explore all these places. So soon after we completed uh, the waterfalls, we started back. We reached our, uh, you know, where the vehicles were parked. We came there. So after we reached, we got fresh and we had a campfire there arranged at our uh, lodge. It was a beautiful experience for the students who really wanted to experience all this in the cool uh, season and then so this is uh, Araku Valley, so in our 3 days uh, trip, we have come to Araku yesterday and this is Akshaya Inn, one of the best hotels in Araku uh, Hill Station. So we have completed the trip finally, from Araku we are starting back to Hyderabad. So it was a wonderful trip of 3 days, so hopefully we have uh, covered lots of places. Uh, one thing that what is famous about Araku is uh, bamboo chicken. Uh, you know, and there are lots of uh, points also like uh, coffee uh, museum, tribal museum, uh, viewpoints. These all students saw the next day morning and we started back from Araku Valley at near about uh, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And on the way, we were at, we stopped at this uh, honeybee farming. Okay, where a person really showed us how this honey is made and all. And it was uh, really quite knowledgeable for our students also. something very new we, we don't know generally how honey is prepared but here the person is showing us how the honey is prepared see there there is a there are a lot of honeybees and lot of varieties of honeybee honey also is prepared like ginger honey you know uh, different flowers of uh, different ha honey from different flowers which tastes really good uh, students and faculties we purchased honey also there we got it uh, quite at a less rate so on the way there are many uh, farms, honeybee farms. So in your next visit to Araku Valley while going, do remember to take some honey for your loved ones or for yourself because it is quite pure which we don't get anywhere in the cities. The place also offered wonderful viewpoints and uh, while returning we, st we halted at Vanajangi viewpoint, one of the best viewpoint here what you are seeing. Of course I did not click any snaps over there but we halted and again the bus started. So in between, we halted for uh, lunch after Vanajangi viewpoint. The guards were really good. We have seen some coffee plantation also there. 
finally the trip was completed the day th- the th- day 3 on uh, 19th uh, we uh, returned back the journey was uh, for near about 21 hours it took us 21 hours because we halted twice for lunch and for dinner drivers mr anwar okay and sayed bhai were really good thanks to the bus drivers who arranged everything thank you